Have you ever wandered in the valley? Those moments where you feel lost, wounded, broken. You look around and see an endless journey, surrounded on all sides, cut off from the surface above. The loneliness is palpable. The fear is real. But even here, God remains. For nothing can separate us from His love. Neither height or depth. Here in this chasm, in the midst of the struggle, we can find peace. We can find security. We can find hope. For we are not alone. He will never leave us, and He will never forsake us. For He is God, the God of the valley. Welcome to Online Worship with South Norwood Baptist Church. My name is Debbie. Great to have you with us. Please enjoy our service today. Everything will bow before me. I go 
O God, our gracious and loving Creator, we come before you acknowledging 
your unfailing love and mercy. Father, as we gather now, let your Holy Spirit fill us with divine inspiration and ignite our passion for your word. Thank you for your presence in our lives. As we face challenges, remind us that we are never alone. Grant us the strength and courage to persevere, always trusting in your perfect plan. Open our hearts to receive the message you have prepared for us today. Empower us to share your love and light in the world. Inspire us to act as your hands and feet, reaching out to those in need and spreading your goodness. O God, our healer and comforter, we lift up those who are burdened by illness, grief or strife. Surround them with your peace and work in their lives. Bring healing and restoration. Help us to be agents of compassion, offering support and encouragement to those around us. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, in your name we pray. Amen. Mark nine fourteen to 29 When they came to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them, and the teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to meet him. What are you arguing with them about? he asked. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I bought you my son who is possessed by a spirit that would rob him of his speech. Whenever it seizes him, it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive out the spirit, but they could not. Oh, unbelieving generation, Jesus replied, how long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought him. When the spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the boy, his father, how long has he been like this? From childhood, he answered. It has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for him who believes. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. When Jesus saw the crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the evil spirit. You deaf and dumb mute spirit, he said. I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. The spirit shrieked, convulsed him violently and came out. The boy looked so much like a dead corpse that many said, he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet and he stood up. After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, this kind can only come out by prayer. This is the word of God. May we explore the timeless topic of doubt in a way that resonates with everyone. Picture Mark 9, 14 to 29 unfolding in our lives today, where we grapple with frustrations, doubts, and a feeling of disconnection. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? The frustration of dropped connections, for example. Have you ever been on a phone call and suddenly it drops? Frustrating, right? The disciples faced a different kind of dropped connection. They couldn't cast out the evil spirit. Despite having all the tools, their spiritual connection hit a snag. We've all been there, wrestling with spiritual connection problems that leave us wondering, what's happening, God? Just like a dropped call, this frustration can make us question and doubt creeps in. It's in these moments that we find ourselves asking, can we trust God even when things seem out of control? Now, let's shift to another scenario. We all experience, for example, the group chat. You're making plans with friends, feeling the excitement building up, but then doubt creeps in. What if it falls apart? Can we really pull this off? It's like asking your friends for reassurance. I'm excited, but help me out there. Can we make this happen? This is where the disciples were, wrestling with doubt in their spiritual group chat. They wanted to believe, but uncertainties were creeping in. 
It's like a common struggle, much like our own battles of doubt amid excitement. In a world buzzing with noise and constant chatter, it's easy to put God on do not disturb. Imagine fasting, not just from food, but from the constant buzz of life's notifications. Suddenly, it's just you and God, and it feels a bit like going into airplane mode, quiet, but connected in a different way. Have you ever felt spiritually in airplane mode? Disconnected from the constant noise, but unsure if God is still on the line. It's a feeling many of us can relate to. Now let's talk about the game changer, prayer, that timeless conversation with God. It's not about rituals or fancy religious routines. It's about having a heart-to-heart -heart talk when life feels glitchy. Prayer becomes our direct line to the divine, helping us reconnect with the source of our strength, just like hitting call when a connection drops. When faced with frustrations, doubts and spiritual airplay mode, prayer is the app that brings us back online. It's a conversation with God that resets our spiritual connection and strengthens our faith. I'm going to provide three practical steps to navigate doubt and strengthen our faith. The first is daily devotion. Treat God like a trusted friend. Start the day with a quick, hey God, how are you today? Share your heart and listen for his response. The second is reflection. Choose moments to step back from the constant chatter of life. Unplug for a while, creating space to hear from God. It's like turning off notifications for a bit. And the third is authentic conversations. Forget the fancy prayers. Be real with God. Share your heart openly. He's got unlimited understanding and love for your soul. Be honest. He can handle it. Just speak to him in your own authentic way. In this ever-changing world when frustration, doubt and disconnection sneak in, let's connect with God in prayer, our direct line of communication. Whether you're a young adult navigating a digital age or a seasoned senior embracing a lifetime of experiences, with the very succinct prayer in the Bible reading, I believe, help my belief. We are reminded that Jesus listens to the deep desires of those who come to him in their need. He recognises faith and encourages it. Let's ask God to help us navigate our doubts, frustrations and keep the connection strong. Let's pray. Father God, the peace that comes through faith in you surpasses all human understanding. Help us to keep our faith in you alone, that we would have peace and not falter in our thinking. Amen. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth And I will daily lift my hands For I will always sing Of when your love came down I could sing of your love forever 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 over the mountains and the sea your river runs with love for me and I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free I'm happy to be in the truth and I will daily lift my hands For I will always sing Of when your love came down I could sing of your love forever 
I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever Oh, I feel like dancing It's foolishness, I know But when the world has seen the lights They will dance with joy Like we're dancing now Dancing late Like we're dancing now They will dance with joy Like we're dancing now I could sing of your love forever Of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever Thank you for joining us today. If you would like further information, then please get in touch and please subscribe to this channel. God bless in the meantime.